And Jesus Christ said he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Those are the words of Jesus Christ. And the only access you have to get to heaven is not by good intentions. It's by your faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone. It's that plain and simple. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, the Bible says. That is the only access to the Father through the words of Jesus himself. You must repent of your sins. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. And when you are not righteous and you are a sinner condemned by God, you have no hope of getting to heaven by being good when the Bible says there is none that doeth good. We Christians are told and to proclaim to go ye into the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is not a collection plate. It's not a movie night. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now that is the gospel. You don't eat Jesus. You receive him by faith. You are going to die. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God our Creator laid down His life that we might be able to get to heaven and to worship him in the eternity. And when you refuse and reject Jesus Christ, you will go to a place called hell. Hell is made for the devil and his angels. It is also the place of people who choose to reject Jesus. And when you reject Jesus, and you die in your sins, you will go to hell. And you will not get out of hell. You will not party in hell. You will not be with your friends in hell. The Bible speaks about being in torment, tormented forever because you have chosen to reject God's free gift of salvation. The Lamb of God will take away the sin of the world. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's glory to God in the highest, not glory to religion. It is no way that what man can do, it has been done through Jesus Christ. 
Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God-approved. Not by works, least any man boast. Boasting is a sin. And we're not going to get to heaven and say, oh, look how good we are. It's how great Jesus Christ is. And if you don't like Jesus, you don't love Jesus, you're not going to appreciate a place called heaven because it's all about Jesus. You would rather burn in a place of torment in hell forever than go to a place where it's all about the word of God, which is Jesus Christ. Salvation has been wrought. By God manifested in the flesh. 100% God, 100% man. That little baby that grew up from the manger of Bethlehem. He grew up, became a man without sin. And he suffered and died upon Calvary's cross. Rejected. Despised. Beaten. That we might have eternal life. And they took that dead body. And they buried it. And three days. And three nights. As the sign of Jonas, or Jonah, he arose from that grave, victorious, and is seated at the right hand of the Father today, now, waiting for the Father to say, go get your bride. At any moment, the trump of God will sound and the Christians will be gone. Dead and alive. In your death, without Jesus as your Savior, you will burn in hell. Your faith in Allah will burn in hell. Your reliance in Mary will burn in hell. Your church membership will burn in hell. But your faith and belief in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone will save your soul. And you don't do the saving. Jesus does the saving. The salvation is of God, by God, through God, and nothing but God. It's not what we can do. It's not what I can do. It's what, not what you can do. It is what Jesus Christ has done. God is satisfied with the merit in the finished work of Jesus and not what we can do. And the Bible records the only time that the angels rejoice is when a sinner repents and gets right through Jesus Christ. It's to the glory of God and the long suffering of God. That the preaching of the gospel is for you to know that only Jesus saves. Only by the name and the merits and the gospel and the finished work and God Jesus can you have any hope of going to a place called heaven. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. And to those that reject, 
He ain't your hope. He'll be about your judge. And without Jesus Christ, the judge, Jesus, who suffered and died for you, will declare to you, Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. In the plain sense, Jesus would be telling you that rejected him, Go to hell. Because you have not believed on the eternal life. You have not set forth your faith in God. You have not repented and been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. And when you are found in your sins and you die in your sins Trusting anything but Jesus. You will go to hell. You get to heaven by Jesus who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's it. You can't ignore Jesus and you can't reject Jesus and think you're going to have a wonderful afterlife. When the Bible does speak of an afterlife. And there's only two. Heaven or hell. Heaven by Jesus Christ alone. Or hell anything and everything else but Jesus. You will find no believers of Jesus Christ in hell. And you will find no rejectors of Jesus in heaven. I don't want you in a place called heaven if you don't love my Jesus. You're not worthy to get to heaven. When all the worthiness was placed upon Jesus on the cross. When he became our sins. For he knew no sin. That our righteousness is not ours but of Jesus alone. You may be good. But you ain't gooder than Jesus. When Jesus is the better of the best. And there's no one like Jesus. And the state is to be washed in the blood. Salvation has been wrought. Outside the gates of Jerusalem. On a hill. Called Calvary. Where three men were crucified. And the one in the middle died for us. God was nailed to that cross. God suffered and died according to the scriptures. And God alone is able to save your soul. No church denomination was nailed to that cross. That dying thief had no opportunity to be baptized. And yet Jesus said to him. Today. 
Thou shalt be with me in paradise without church membership and without baptism. And all he had was faith that Jesus Christ was who he said he was. You're not going to outdo, you're not going to out have what God has already done. You can never be gooder than what Jesus has been the best. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Because without Jesus Christ, it will be hell. And again, there is no partying in hell. There's this torment. And you in torments for all eternity. There is no probation. There is no relief. And there is no release. From the place called hell. God's satisfaction is the satisfaction of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. You will not be approved of God. Unless you come to the one that is approved of God, Jesus Christ. Heaven is entered by the blood of Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ alone. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you believe. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. If you want to go to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It is so simple to believe on Jesus. Repent of your sins that you are doing and are. It's not just the fact is you are sinning. You're a sinner. All have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. And that Lamb of God came. To take away the sin of the world. God says come now. Let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet. They shall be white as snow. You can be made clean. In the eyes and the presence of God. Only by God. Jesus Christ. If you could get yourself to heaven, there would not need to be death on the cross. God would not have needed to suffer and to die according to the scriptures. If you could save yourself. God's a holy and righteous God. And he says, be ye holy. For I am holy. And you're not holy. When all have sinned. You're far from holiness when you're a sinner 
condemned by a holy and righteous God. And you have need of the gospel when the Bible tells Christians to go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Jesus said, I am the way. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Jesus said, I am the truth. And he is the life. He is the shepherd, the loving shepherd that gave his life for the sheep. And in that, he will give us eternal life. And life eternal. Because he laid down his life. And the Father loveth the Son. Because he did lay down his life. And not only did he lay down his life. But God took up that life again. The resurrection of Jesus Christ. The satisfaction of God. You will not get to heaven without faith and belief and repentance to Jesus Christ. You will not get to see glory when you reject Jesus Christ as your Savior. There's a place in hell for church membership. In hell you would love to have that water you were baptized in. There's a good place in hell for you for people that are good. Hell is full of good people. But the occupation of heaven is by those that have believed on the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. You are not safe. You are not sure without Jesus Christ. The gates of heaven only receive the blood of Jesus Christ. God has set forth the standard. And that standard is Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's that simple. Don't worry. If you reject Jesus, you won't make heaven. You won't. When you reject the Jesus Christ of the Bible... You will not walk on the street of gold. You will swim in the lake of fire that burneth forever. The Bible says, God, depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Salvation can be only wrought Going to heaven can only be obtained 
by the faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone and nothing else you can do. Nothing else anybody else can do. It has all been done through Jesus. Are you washed in the blood? Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? There is no other way but the way. And the way is Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Your soul depends on it. What you do with Jesus before you die will have your occupation where you go in the eternal life when you die. And without Jesus Christ, your afterlife is hell. And to be absent from the body and present with the Lord is your faith and belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Satisfaction of God is Jesus. And only through Jesus. Do not die without Jesus Christ. Don't even try it. Don't even dare to think about it. But put your faith and trust in God, in Jesus. He is the way to the Father. He is the only way to the Father. He is the mediator between man and God. Mary can't help you. Mary's a sinner. And yet Jesus Christ is the great sinless one. And if Jesus is sinless, then he is God. The Bible calls him the blessed hope. And when you die in Jesus, you'll be internally before the Father. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's that simple. Salvation is so simple, any child can do it. Anybody could get saved. And you're a fool if you won't. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the wonderful good news is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the good news. That is something we cannot do that God has done. We'll be good at dying. The wages of sin is death. 
But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 